my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 388 in this lecture we will try to understand geometric intuition of decision trees since we have learned a bunch of classification and regression techniques like KNN naive-base logistic regression, linear regression, and support vector missions. If you notice, KNN is called an instance-based method because what are we doing? We are basically taking each of the data points at runtime. We will look at all the instance of points, all the points, all the instances to make a decision naive base on the other hand is a very nice simple probabilistic bayesian method it is one of the simplest probabilistic method of course logistic regression and linear regression also have a probabilistic interpretation if the, if you think about logistic regression linear regression and support vector missions these are very very geometric in nature because you are trying to find hyperplanes effectively of course in the case of support vector missions we have the kernel trick which makes it special but in general very very geometric in nature we have seen kn that is first method which is instance based second method is naive base probabilistic one third one is logistic lean logistic regression linear regression and support vector missions these three belongs to it they are associated with geometric intuition the fourth very very key or fundamental models are called decision trees let me explain what is decision tree decision tree is very very similar to what programmers think as if else conditions if you think of logistic regression linear regression and svm to be coming from geometric intuition naive base probability and knn is like heuristic if you think about it it is very very simple heuristic decision trees on the other hand something like programmers really low because they understand what if else condition means in a nutshell decision tree is nothing but nested if else condition classifier of course there is a geometric interpretation to a decision tree let's take an example what a decision tree is let let's get an idea on it of course we will go into much more detailed example little later in the iris data set there are three classes your y i could be 1 2 3 1 means what setosa flower 2 means versicolor 3 means versinica and we had four features sepal length sepal width petal length petal width isn't it just try to recall this particular data set let me write a sample classifier of course this classifier need not be appropriate given xi which is equal to sepal length what is my xi here just see this is my xi isn't it yes if my class if if my classifier if my model can be written as how we how we are writing this classifier how we are writing this model by using if else conditions or nested if else conditions let's see what is nested if else conditions see what is nested if else condition basically if else within else condition just see i have if else within else condition decision trees are nothing but simple nested if else classifier if else based classifier just see that's what it says if xi is equal to the slpl sw pl if pl if your petal length is less than 
A, your Y A equal to 1, 1 means set of a flower. Else, if sepal length less than B, your class equal to 2 means versi color. Else, class equal to 3. With, with this else, I am keeping if else within if, if within else, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, if I try to draw this diagrammatically, what is the first condition? How can I draw it? Just see. Just take first condition if petal length, if petal length is less than A. So I will create a node. This is called vertex. Just see. If petal length less than A, I am creating a node. This is called vertex, isn't it? This, this uh, or vertex or node. We try to draw a data structure called tree. This is a tree data structure. What we are trying to draw, this we are trying to draw decision tree. What is the first condition? We are making petal length less than A. That may be true conditions, yes condition or no condition. If petal length less than A, if it is yes, what is its class label? Y A equal to 1, isn't it? If it what, what does it mean? Let me let me take if petal length less than A, yes or no. If it is yes, your Y A equal to 1. If petal length less than A, no means what? Else condition. I am going to else means no. No means again I have testing condition. Sepal length less than B. This one is, this one is, this, is, this one is again. Sepal length less than B means what? that class is 2. Therefore, I am writing y equal to no means what? Class equal to 3. It is simple decision tree construction from this particular code. This is nested if else condition. Is it not? It is nested if else condition. We represented this simple piece of code diagrammatically by using decision tree. Nested if else conditions. You will get a diagram. That diagram is known as known as tree. These nodes are known as leaf nodes. This node is known as root node. These nodes are known as internal nodes. Isn't it? it, it, it so, we have converted if-else conditions into a diagram. What is this diagram represents exactly? What this if-else conditions is saying? Exactly the same we have represented in nested if-else conditions into a diagram. This diagram that you see here is a tree. It is it, it is called a tree in data structures. First node is called the root node. Every vertex here yi or leaves. Just see yi equal to 1 is a leaf node. yi equal to 2 leaf node. yi equal to 3. These are leaf nodes. If you don't go any further from them, the, ter the, terminating, the terminating nodes or terminating vertices are called leaves. These are the terminating nodes, isn't it? Therefore, they are known as leaf nodes. If PL less than A, just say PL less than A, it is called root node. Anything that is not a root node and not a leaf node is called internal node. Just see, this is internal node or internal vertex in a tree. For all the non-leaf nodes, we make a decision like PL less than A, this is non-leaf node, we make a decision, SL less than B, this is a decision, these are known as, for all non-leaf nodes, we make a decision, this is non-leaf node, we are making decision, this is non-leaf node, we are making decision, isn't it, is, is, yes, yes, just say this one, for all non-leaf nodes, we are making decision, here you are making decision, here also you are making decision, PL less than A, we are making decision. SL less than B also. We are making decision. At, at the leaf nodes, we decide what the class label, isn't it? At leaf nodes, we are deciding what is the class label. We want to give that the, that the structure. This is the structure of uh, of the decision tree. Of course, there is a lot of terminology here. There is a root node which is first node. This is the first node. That first node is known as root of the tree. There are the leaf nodes which are terminating nodes or vertices. I use a word, word node and vertex interchangeably. You can call it as node or vertex. Similarly, you have internal nodes. Internal nodes in a tree are nodes, are nodes 
that are neither leaf nodes nor root node. At all non-leaf nodes in decision tree, we make decisions. Here we have two possibilities, but there may be cases in which here just see petal length less than A means two possibilities, sepal length less than B means two possibilities. We have two possibilities here, but there may be cases in which you may have more than two possibilities. This is what a decision tree basically means and these algorithms are called decision tree. Decision trees are very very simple to understand. They are highly interpretable. Decision tree models are highly interpretable because you can read them like logical stuff. Logical stuff. If petal length less than A, then I know that class label is 1. Just see, petal length less than A, that class label is 1. Extremely interpretable because we can read in simple English statements or simple logical statements in any programming language. I will continue my discussion on geometric intuition of decision tree in my next lecture that is in lecture number 389. Thank you very much.